Welcome to my channel, House of Jazz, the Piano Tutorial Man. My name is Richard, and today we are going to break down the song Didn't I Blow Your Mind This Time by the Delphonics. If you would like to hear me play this song all the way through, first, before you look at this video, I'm going to need you to click the little box that's popping up right now, I think right above my head, little rectangle, click that. That will take you to a separate video. Unfortunately, I had to do it that way because YouTube just playing with me right now. So click that or there will be a link in the description box if you want to just hear how I play it first before you sit through this video. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do Didn't I Blow Your Mind This Time. So we're going to start with the intro of the song. This is definitely a classic song. So what you want to do is you want to start with an F major chord, okay? F on the left hand, F A C with the right hand, and you want to go. Now you see as I, I hit the chord, right? And then I'm just tapping on that C because of that. Da ba da ba ba ba. Yo, y'all know I'm trying not to get the melody too much before YouTube flags this video too. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna start with that. Okay, now do you see? And then what I did was just take my left hand and drop it down to D, giving us a D minor seven chord. Okay, so and then you want to go hit the D, right? You want to go this time and then you want to come down to this inversion which will be c f a so you have oh, i'm sorry let me go back got it and then after that you want to go to a g minor seven well g minor nine is what i'm doing Okay, so that's G on the left hand, B flat, D, F, and A on the right hand. And then you can kind of just tap that A right here. Didn't I? Right? Okay, and then you want to go to a G minor 7 over C. Of course, that's also known as a C9 sus4, but if you look at what we have over here, it's just a G minor 7 chord. C on the bass, okay? So that's C on the left hand, G, B flat, D, and F. And then you just want to go ba 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 ba. Okay? You put all that together. Da da. Right? And then you're going to go to. And then you'll go. All right? And then you're just going to play that again. You're going to go right back to. Right? And then you want to go to, then now this time, after you do this G minor seven over C, from the intro, you want to go, you want to play those two chords and that's going to take you to the verse. The first chord is a D major chord, D on the left hand, G flat, A, D on the right hand. And then you want to just go to an E major chord. Okay. E on the left hand, A flat, B, E. Okay. So all that is the intro, introduction to the song. So. Right. And then you're going to go. Then you're going to hit. Ba, 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 ba. Right. And again. And then you'll go, and then you want to go, right? That's your intro. Now I'm playing it the way I'm playing it, not as smooth on purpose, just hoping you two don't catch it. Okay, so now you want to go to the verse, and when you go to the verse, you want to go to an A major chord. All right, you're going to start on A major, A on the left hand, A, D flat, E on your right hand. Then you want to go down to um, A flat diminished chord, 
Um, I actually wrote this on a chord sheet and um, like this. And do I want to keep it? Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it this way. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. A flat diminished. I'm going to change my chord tree, okay? So you're going to do an A flat diminished chord. A flat on the left hand. A flat, B natural, D. So just in case I confuse you, start with the A major chord. And then you want to go to... Now the next chord is going to be a D flat 7 chord. D flat on the left hand. F, A flat, B on the right hand. And then you want to go to a G flat minor 7. G flat on the left hand. G flat, A, D flat, E on the right hand. And then you just want to take your left hand and move it over to A. Okay? And that's just a F sharp minor 7 over A. Right? That's all you're doing. You're just going to go 1, 2, mm. So, so far you have... Then one that didn't I da didn't I tell you pay da ba da da ba da ba ba. Hopefully you two don't pick that up. That part you want to play a D major chord, <laughs> D on the left hand, G flat A, D on the right hand. Da 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 ba da ba. Now you're going to do a A over E chord, E on the left hand, A, D flat, E on the right hand. Then you're going to come right back to. D major again, D on the left hand, G flat, A, D on the right hand. Then you're going to take your left hand and put it over on E. So that's basically, you still have an inverted D major chord on your right hand over E. Okay. And then you want to come down to uh, E7 chord, E um, dominant 7, E on the left hand. Then you can do E, A flat, B, D on the right hand. Or you can, I kind of just was using my left hand, as you can see, for the octave. And then I just did A flat, B, D, however you want to do your fingers, okay? So let me just try to play that in rhythm so, you, so it can make sense without YouTube catching me. So you want to go, right? Then you want to go, right? Then you'll go to, then, didn't I tell you? Right? Then you're going to basically, you're going to play all those exact same chords again. So the second half of the verse, you're still singing the verse, so you're going to play the same thing again. Right? And then you're going to go... Right? Then didn't I, you know? Then, then you'll go. Now you want to go to the pre choruses. Ba da ba da da ba da ba da ba. Okay, I'm just trying to give you the little melody right there. Remember, I'm trying to be incog niegro. Okay? All right, so you got. <laughs> so that part, the uh, pre-chorus will be, da, 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 right? Da, da, da. Okay, do you want to play that again? Don't worry, I'm going to break the chords down. Da, 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 right? And then you'll go, do, do, do. and then you'll just go, and then you're going to play the chorus, which is basically the intro of the song. So we almost finished this tutorial already. So that little pre-chorus is going to be F sharp, well, G flat minor. So G flat on the left hand, G flat A, D flat on the right hand. Then you want to go to a D major chord, D on the left hand, G flat A, D on the right hand. Then you want to play an E major chord. Well, let's do it this way. Uh, e on the left hand, A flat, B, E on the right hand, and then down to a B major chord. 
Okay? B on the left hand, G flat, B, E flat on the right hand. And you're going to play that progression two different times. So it should be like this. Right? And then you'll go. Then you're going to do it again. Right? And then. And then when it's time to go to the chorus, you're going to hit that G minor 7 over C. Again, C on the left hand, G, B flat, D, and F. And you're going to go. You know, that's how you're going to, if you know the song, you know how many times to hit it. Bop, 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 bop. And then, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to play the intro of the song, which I just showed you already, because the intro of the song is also the chorus, okay? So then you'll be back to. Right? And then you'll just hit that. Now, I'm just running through it because I already broke down these chords already. Then you'll just go, right? And then you'll go. And then you want to just, um, now, on the intro, I'll take that back. At the On the intro, to go into the verse, she hit the D major to the E major, and then you did the verse. But that's only on the intro. Now, once you're in the song, you're just going to hit that G minor 7 over C. And then you're going to hit that B. And then you're going to go right back to the verse again. So let me just, I guess I better play it again so that you can see and hear what I'm talking about. So I already explained how to play the intro. You already heard that. I already broke that down. So this is how you properly play the chorus and move back to the verse so that the second verse can be done. So you want to go... Right, and then you want to go, and then you got that ba 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 ba. Then you want to do it again, ba ba ba. Right, and then, and then you just gonna hit the G minor seven over C, and just go to the A major chord again. Now at the once you're at the A major chord again, you on the verse again, ba ba, and then you just gonna do everything I already showed you, right? And then, did not, did it, right? Try not to get caught by YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, that's the entire song. You're just going to play the verse again. And then from there, you go back to the pre-chorus again. Da, da, mm, mm, right? Da, da, da. Right? Then, da, da, mm. Try not to get caught. Um, and then you go back to. And then that's the whole song, y'all. That's the whole song. So um, you play that. And then when it's time to end the song, you can go. Da, 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 da. And it just ended on an F major nine. So let's just say you played the song and you're doing the chorus and you plan for the group and they did that. You know, and they're doing it over and over again. And then they signal you, letting you know that they're finished. This is the last one. And then you're going to go. Ba -da 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 -da. And then you can just kind of end it that way. So that F major 9. Then I'm, I think the song fades out on the record. So I'm just giving you an optional ending. Okay. So you can end it with the. Ba -da 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 -da. Mm. F, C, F on the left hand. A, C, E, G on the right hand. Again, I apologize that I couldn't just play the song freely, but there is a video available. So um, if you missed that little bubble that popped up at the beginning of this tutorial, you can still click the description, uh, go to the description box and click the link down there. And even though that video is tagged, I, I still want to just I'm going to leave it on YouTube so that you can still watch it. But then you can there'll be a way for you to come from that video back over here for the breakdown. OK, so hopefully that helped you out and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.